few months back i reviewed this gpt researcher tool and i wasn't impressed at all there were a lot of bugs and it was really hard to configure it and it was running sometimes and even then i was facing some of the issues but now recently i have been told that the tool has improved a lot so i decided to give it another go so in this video we will be installing gpt researcher on our local system and then we will be playing around with it before that let me tell you in a very simple words and shortly what exactly this gpt researcher is the gpt researcher is an early autonomous agent designed for comprehensive online research on a variety of tasks i have to be upfront that there already are various other tools which i have covered on my channel which i'm quite impressed with in terms of online search through ai agents but anyway as it's an early project and quite a lot of attention has been given to it by a lot of contributors so let's try to see what exactly it does this is a rough diagram of gpt researcher now what is happening here is that the agent can produce detailed factual and unbiased research reports with customization option for focusing on relevant resources outlines and lessons it has been um, inspired by now bit old paper plan and solve and drag gpt researcher addresses issues of speed determinism and reliability offering a more stable performance and increased speed through parallelized agent work as per their github repo so they are trying to empower individuals and organizations with accurate unbiased and factual information by leveraging the power of ai in very very short i believe what it does is it does an online uh, search through llms and then sort of augment the llm prompting with the online research it uses gpt 3.5 turbo and gpt 4o and uh, by the way the context of that is 128k and it the average research task with these gpts take around around one cent and takes around one, three minutes to complete by the way they say that it works with open source llms i have tried it doesn't work that well so if you really want to use it properly i would suggest go with open ai and of course that is a paid option anyway so in this screen what is happening <clears throat> is that it is creating a domain specific agent based on research query or task from the top and then it generates a set of research questions that together form an objective opinion on any given task for each research question you can <clears throat> trigger a crawler agent that scrapes online resources for information relevant to the given task and for the crawler i will be using this devily so just go to this devily.com and there get your api key which is uh, in the early plan where you get thousand request is free but if you will go over of course you would have to pay and in addition go to platform.openai.com and also get your api key from openai for which you would at least need ten dollars so coming back to this gpt researcher for each scraped resource you can summarize based on relevant information and keep track of its sources finally you can filter and aggregate all summarized sources and generate a final research report so that is what it primarily does so let me take you to my local system where we are going to install it i am using ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 22 gb of vram and i will be you don't really need that powerful gpu you can go with 16 gb of even 8 gb of vram but i think the balance would be around 16 gb having said that let me clear the screen also make sure that you have conda or mini conda installed if you don't know how to install it i already have done another video so please search it out this is my conda let's clear the screen now first uh, thing you need to do is to git clone this repo of gpt researcher so let me do it quickly it is cloning it you don't take too long that is done let me log in. let me cd to that directory and that is also done now next up let's create a conda environment here it will keep everything nice and tidy and separate just press y and it is going to 
create the conda environment let's activate it and you can see it in the parenthesis that it is now activated so here it is time to set your api keys you can set your open ai api key like this and your tavily api key like this so let me set these api keys and i will clear the screen and then we will proceed further i have set my keys and now let's install all the prerequisites and requirements by just running this pip install command so let's wait for this one to finish this takes a bit of a time all the prerequisites are done as you can see let's clear the screen here and now all you need to do is to run this command and it, it is going to start gpt researcher on your local system and then you can access it in browser at port 8000 so let me run it and you see that it has completed running and now let me take you to my browser and we will try to access it and this is how it looks like in your local browser and you can uh, simply click on get started here and once you click on get started you will be taken to this screen it is asking you what would you like uh, me to research next maybe i will just say it oracle database and i'm just want to do summary short and fast and let's click the research here it is thinking about research starting the research task this is a tech agent and it is just going to do yeah that is fine so it is doing the research at the moment so let's wait for it to come back as i said earlier uh, as per their repo they say that it takes around three minutes or so and cost around one cent so let's wait for a few minutes and then see what it gives us so it has even come back before three seconds so sorry okay let it done first and then we will scroll up amazing stuff looks really good i think it has improved a lot i have to say it great stuff so i will let it run and you can see that it is generating all the feedback so if i go at the top so this is where okay sorry it is done so if i go at the top i asked it to research about oracle database this was agent uh, output it just took this 55 seconds which is good and then it has given us this report amazing key features deployment options market position and all that stuff okay and then you can copy it to clipboard you can download as pdf you can download as docx let's try out another search i'm just going to say um fair value of vdhg talk in australia fair Price. let's see if it is able to do it or not and what are other options there is a summary there's a detail and there is a resource report let me do the detail report this time and we will wait for five minutes let's uh, let it do it of course it will it is going to cost more i'm already bankrupt so it doesn't matter really so let's wait for it to finish So you see it is still working the research is happening it is on the conclusion while it happens i also wanted to show you the terminal which where it is already also viewing out all the logs what exactly it is doing and it is writing all the pdf and docx which you can download from the gui on your local system so whatever you are researching even if you forget to download from the gui and you close it you can always find it out in your output directory within the same github repo which is a really good uh, option i guess okay so let's go back to our browser there you go so research has finished amazing stuff and so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i'm quite impressed by it i think it has improved a lot and um, i believe this is going to be evolving more and more the only thing is that they should make it easier and actually workable to work with stuff like olama that will be awesome and then we can just play around with it one more thing is that of course um, you can't really 
use this devilly forever for free you would have to sort of you know use it in a uh, in a way that it, it won't cost you much because this browser search i'm not sure it is using quite a lot do you see earlier it was zero request now it has just done 17 requests out of, of for that research so for nominal use it is okay but if you are doing extensive searching it could get out of hand pretty uh, heavily and i just checked my open AI's account uh, it costed me around 50 cents for those two searches which is quite expensive but anyway such is life so that's it guys i will drop the link to this uh, repo in video description i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching